morning, Afro-Lachy Show's family and friends, for truly this is the day that the Lord has made. We greet you in the sovereignty of God and the Son, Jesus Christ, and the precious Holy Spirit. Giving honor to Pastor Shannon in his absence, officers, members, and friends, we welcome you here to our worship experience for second Sunday in August 2001. If you missed our revival last week, you missed a great time. These services can be viewed on our Facebook page. On Wednesday and Thursday, we had the Reverend Dr. Johnny Miller of Chicago, Illinois. And on Friday, we had our moderator, Lackey, of the Antioch Baptist Church from Gainesville, Georgia. And again, you can watch these on our Facebook page. Also, this week, be mindful, we will start back our Bible study on August the 11th. That'll be Wednesday night at 7.30 through our Zoom. This is the same Zoom information that we have used in the past. You can check out our website, AppalachiaShows.org, for this information to join us for our Bible study as we pick back up in the book of Acts. Hope to see you then. Good morning, everybody. We're going to go into our devotion this morning. Pray that you lend your attention and pray, lift up praise unto the Lord. Come this morning with a Bible here in the Omaha. Oh Lord, come thank you for another day. Father, thank you for watching over us all night while we slumber and slept. Now, the ride this morning, closing out of right now with a potion out of my hair and strength. Father, we thank you for goodness of mind. Come back out to the house of prayer one more time. Oh Father, we ask you, we give you praise and honor this morning, O oh Lord, and for your holy will. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for all the ones that have came out this morning to help lift up your holy and righteous name. Father, we ask you to church each and every heart this morning, O oh Lord, if for your holy will. Father, bless the one that had a desire to come and just couldn't make it, O oh Lord. Father, we want you to stop by here this morning, O oh Father, and make this be a stop by place, O oh Lord. Father, we ask you to bless the nation this morning, O oh Lord, if for your holy will. Father, heal it, O oh Lord, if for your will. Father, we ask you to go check on all the sick and shut in over the land and nation, O oh Lord, if for your will. Father, we know we need you right now, O oh Lord. Father, we need you every hour in the day, O oh Lord. Father, we ask you, O oh Lord, just to look around the world, O oh Father, and see how weak and things are going, O oh Father. We ask you to heal it, O oh Lord, if for your will. Father, I can just touch our past this morning, O oh Lord, if for your will. Lift him up, O oh Father, for he needs lift him up, Father. Give him the words to bring to his people, O oh Lord. Father, we ask you this morning, just to look down on us, O oh Lord. Father, you know your brothers, for we couldn't bring out ourselves. And Father, you told us in your word that every need shall abide, and every time shall come first. Father, we confess this morning in the only manner that we know how, O oh Lord. Father, we know you've been good to us, O oh Lord. Why you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves, O oh Lord. Why we thank you for, O oh Lord. Why we ask you to church.
the nation is from going no farther, if you will. Father, we know we need you. Right now, Father, we ask you to chase my family this morning, O oh Lord, if you will. Child by child, and name by name, O oh Lord. Father, look at all the bereaved families, O oh Lord. <coughs> Father, lift them up right now, O oh Lord, if you will. Father, you really know they need you every eye, O oh Lord. Father, you know it's time. It's terrible time now, O oh Lord. Father, we need you, out of Father. We need you all. All the time in our lives, oh Father. Father, we know we need you in the midnight hour, oh Lord. Father, we need you early, early in the morning, oh Lord. Father, let this be one of your stop by places, oh Father, to heal the one that doesn't, that doesn't know you, oh Father. Chase them this morning, oh Lord. The one that's in this old shepherd world that don't look down on you, oh Lord. Father, let, let them know that you have all power. In your hand, you God, and you God Almighty, O oh Lord. For we know it's no other God before you, O oh Lord. For we ask this moment, it's the best of O oh Lord. If you're holy, we are. For Christ's sake, for amen. And thank you. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I bring greetings and thank you from Apple at the shows. I just want to say good morning to each and every one. This morning, I, I just want to honor God for thanking you for another day, another preaching opportunity. I give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is indeed the head of my life, to Pastor Shannon, First Lady Shannon, and to each and every one of you. This morning, we will be coming from... Our scripture will be coming from Luke chapter 8, verse 43 through 48. That's Luke chapter 8, verse 43 through 48. 
and it reads as such. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which has spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of the garment, and immediately her issue of blood stanched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and saith thou, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that there was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched and how she had, he had been healed immediately. 48, and he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Dear gracious God, here we are once again, God, just to tell you thank you, God. We thank you for another day, God. We thank you for traveling grace and mercy this morning. Father God, thank you for bringing us back out to the house of worship, worship once again, just to bless your name. Father God, I just ask and pray that you hide Tiffany so far behind the cross that men will hear and see you. And, and Lord God, right now, use my lip to speak to your people, Lord God. We thank you, we love you, and we magnify you, God. And if there's anything within me that's not of you, I ask and pray that you remove it in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Our subject this morning will be my worship is for real. This woman, she had been dealing with the issue of blood for 12 long years. And 12 represents perfection. And it's found in the Bible 187 times. But when you think about 12 years, that's a long time to do anything. Struggle to be bleeding for 12 years, that's a mighty long time. So when you think about her perfection, she was true to her calling. She had been sick, went from doctor to doctor, and they still couldn't heal her. All her money was gone, but she still continued. When she heard that Jesus was coming to town. Her profession was, I'm going to make it there to see my Jesus, my Lord, the man that can save me. So when, the, when she gathered in the crowd, there were so many people standing before her. But what she did, she probably got on her knees and crawled to our master. And then when she finally reached him and touched the hem of his garment, that's let me know that she was persistent because she wanted to be made whole. She has spent everything. You know how when we spend all our money, we act funny and strange, but she was so weak and tired of struggling with this issue. So she pressed away, and he said, who touched me? In this multitude of a crowd, how can you know who touched you? But he knew that somebody had touched him. His power had left him. And this power saved her because of her faith. Her faith made her whole. We know that if you just have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can be made whole. Your life can be changed. Don't try. And I can hear her saying, yes, my worship is for real. I've been worshiping and praying and crying and petitioning and giving it to God all for the last 12 years. And ain't a nothing changed so now I've lost everything I got all my money is gone but I got to still say you don't know my story you don't know what I've been through you can't tell me how I feel you don't know the pain that I feel in my body how I made it this far you don't know how I got here but my praise is for real you will never understand my praise. Don't try to figure it out. Because my worship, it is for real. Like I said, I walked the floor midnight after midnight, crying, begging, praying, 
trusting God that he will fix me. I had to cry in the midnight hour. I walked the floor. I called on my friends to pray for me. I went to the church, asked them to pray for me because I wanted to be made whole. But I know the only way I was going to get any kind of relief is I had to put it in the master's hand. I had to have a little touch from him. And once I touched him, my life was changed. And then he told me to go in peace. And now, you know, we going we to have struggles in our life. But as long as you got a struggle, there's a praise on the inside. You got to praise God in the season and out of season. When it's good and when it's bad, you still got to praise God. Even when you're going through, when you're wailing, praise God. When you don't have money to spend, praise God. We got to praise him at all times. At all times, praise the Lord. Give him everything that you got. We always want things to come overnight. We want it to be a microwave daddy. We think he's a genie, but he's not like that. He said, I may not come when you want it, but I'm always right on time. So continue to put your trust in the man. Continue to trust him for everything. You got to remember, his timing is not like our timing. He said, I love you in spite of, so trust me in the midst of this. Whatever you're going through, trust me. Honor me. Give me the praise while the blood is still running warm in your veins this morning. So my praise is for real. You may not see me praising. You may not see me struggling. But I got to praise. Thank God I don't look like what I've been through. Thank God he's still blessing. And he's still working it out for me. Not just for me, but look at you this morning. He's working it out for you. You've had some good days and bad time, days, and your good days outweigh the bad days. So we got to give God the praise today. We have to learn how to lean on him. We have to lean on him 365 days of the year. Remember, he said, just a little faith in Jesus. All is all that you need, a size of a mustard seed. Whatever you're struggling with this morning, turn it over to Jesus. Give it to him and call on him because I know he will make everything all right. This week we've been going through revival. And the, each preacher, they talked about what we had to do. The first one talked about my testimony is still the same. In my testimony, she has a testimony this morning. She can praise God. She can bless him because she, her life has been changed. The blood has stopped immediately. That's a testimony. She said, I lost my money. That's the testimony. So we need to sometimes just stop and tell God, thank you. Because you've been good to me. You've been better than good. Sometimes when you're going down the highway, give him a praise. Give him a praise in the midnight hour, in the morning, in the noonday. Give God a praise because he's worthy of all our praise. And then number two, be confident. And know that God is still the same God. He's the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore. He won't change. He ain't like you and I that will change on him. He will never change. And I tell you, always keep your hand in the master's hand. I tell you, your life will never be the same. Once you give yourself to God, your life will never be the same. So continue to trust him. Continue to honor him. Continue to seek him first. Him first. Don't think about what you're going to receive on the other end. Seek him first. And then she received her benefits for waiting on the Lord. She waited patiently. She waited 12 long years. I don't know if I can wait 12 years, but I'm going to give God the praise. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to bless his name. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to serve him. I'm going to honor him. Today I seek him. I see God because he's working it out for us. He's working it out for little old me. And I'm going to continue to trust in his holy and righteous name. Everything I go through, everything I've been through in my life, I give God the praise because he deserves it all. He deserves everything. He is worthy, worthy of all our praise. We, it may be hard sometimes. Sometimes you may have to cry in the midnight hour. But he's still good, and he knows everything you're going through. It's only faith 
that release God healing power? Are you just curious about God? Or do you have faith to reach to him and say, today, he's mine and I'm his? Do you have faith to serve him for the rest of your life? Because you got to remember, time is winding up. Time is winding up. And right now, it's time for you to get in a hurry and serve the Lord. Serve him with gladness. Serve him with all your heart. Give God the praise today. And when you can't think of nothing else, just tell him, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My worship, it is for real. It is for real because if it wasn't real, I wouldn't be up here putting on a show. But I come to serve the Lord. I serve him with gladness, not just on Sunday morning, but every day of my life. I'm going to give my daddy the praise because he deserves it all. He he, he made my mother whole. He have healed her body. He healed the woman with the issue of blood. Look at Job. Come on, Job, in the house this morning. Job would say, he's all right with me. Job would say, I made it over. Thank you, Jesus, for healing my body. You gave me double for my trouble. Thank you, God. And then, God, you would just look at. You look at this woman right here with the issue of blood. She said, I'm weak now. She said, I was once weak, but now I'm found. I've been fixed. I've been blessed because God saved me. So this morning, we just need God to save us. We need to change our mindset and put our trust in him this morning. And know, I want you to know that my praise, it is for real. 365 days of the year, my praise is for real. And I promise to honor him. To love him, to praise him, to give him all I got. I may fall by the wayside, but God, here I am today. I give it to you. And today, I promise, I promise to never turn my back on you. And when you can't think of nothing else, just know that God is good. All the time and all the time, he is good. This morning, if you know that You've been struggling with something this morning and you don't know which way to go. I ask and pray that you would accept Christ as your savior. He is good. He's awesome. He can work anything out that you're going through. Sometimes we just have to be patient and wait on the Lord. The doors of the church is open. If there's anybody here that wants to receive our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, just come to Jesus because he's, he's better and he can do it just for you. Thank you, Lord. We give you the praise today. God, we bless you. God, we love you, God. Thank you for all that you do and all that you're going to do. God, we thank you for traveling grace, God. We thank you for every instant that happened in our lives, Lord God. We're going to bless your name, God. Not just on Sunday morning, not just this day, but every day of our lives. God, we honor you now. We bless you, Lord God. And let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We, we pray, pray that, that your hearts and your minds and your, and your spirits receive something from that dynamic word from our very own minister, Tiffany Mobley. We, we pray, pray that, that you have a great week. We pray that God's blessings will be bestowed upon you throughout your week. And please be reminded, we will be back in Bible study this Wednesday night. And until then, everywhere you go, take God with you.